After making over half a million dollars with digital products, the question is, do I still have what it takes to create a brand new digital product from scratch, launch it and make it successful? And in this video, we're going to find out if I've just been lucky or if I can repeat this process over and over again. I'll walk you through the entire journey, brainstorming the product idea, creating it, planning the marketing and finally launching. And all I ask in return is to drop a like on this video. What you work on is far more important than how hard you work. And that's totally true when it comes down to launching a digital product or any product. You have to find a sweet spot between what your audience wants, what you know and understand well enough to create a great product and how to package it so it looks like a no brainer offer. When you nail these things down, selling becomes easy. What does my audience want? By looking at my Instagram page, creatorworld.io, most of my content revolves around content creation, growing a following and making better content. So since I know most people follow that page because they want to learn how to create better content, my product should be based around that promise, helping you make better content. The problem is that I already have that type of product, my private community called Creator World. So I need something slightly different. Lately, I've been posting a lot of carousels and I feel like I've cracked the code on how to make great carousels and how to grow a lot of followers just with carousels. I think a lot of creators still believe that the only way to grow is by using video format, like reels, but in fact, carousels are actually making a comeback. For the past six months, I've grown thousands of new followers just with carousels. I had some carousels blow up to over 50,000 likes, and what I've noticed is that carousels are actually convert more people into followers than reels do. With that said, I'm going to create a digital product on how to make better carousels. Brilliant idea, I know. So once I have a product idea, I create what I call launch checklist. By the way, I left this entire checklist for you in this video description so you can make your next digital product launch more organized and more simple. I always start with a product name and pricing. Then I design the product itself. Most of the time I build video courses with extra material. So for this, I'm going to create an outline how the curriculum is going to look like. And usually it goes like this. Welcome video explaining how to use the course. Then I structure lessons into different modules based on the course topics. I lay down exactly what needs to be recorded, the lessons and all of the extra resources that needs to be added to the course, templates, etc. Then after that's finished, I create a marketing plan, which I'm going to reveal during this video. But first, let's create the product. So for this product, I chose the name Viral Carousels Mastery. And for the launch price, I'm going with $47 one time payment. First, I designed the course and created all the lessons. And in this case, I didn't need to record any new lessons since many of those lessons are simply taken from my existing program, Creator World 3.0. I just added extra bonuses, including 100 done for you carousel templates, chat GPT prompts to create viral carousels in any niche and more. And I chose to host this entire course on WAP, which I believe is one of the best and simplest platforms to build your own digital products, especially courses. So once I built the entire layout on WAP, I had to build a sales page for this product. Now you can build the sales page on WAP itself, but I personally like to use my own website when building my sales pages. So when building a sales page, I personally like to keep everything under one domain name. So I don't have to create new domains every time I launch a new product. And I have one main domain name, which is creatorcaro.com. And my website is hosted on software called Framer, which I've been using for the past two years. So I built an extra sales page for this product directly on my existing website. After a couple of hours of writing together with my best friend, Chad, GPT, I came up with something that looked like this. At the top, we have a headline, then subheadline and a CTA to join the product. Below that, there is a clear explanation on what this product is for. Then I show the results I got with Carousel so people can trust me. I explain what's included inside a course and the extra bonuses they're going to get. Pricing section, curriculum information, frequently asked questions, and then last call to action. It took me about four hours in total and we have this ready. From this page, I send people to a checkout page. I created on WAP and when someone purchases, they get instant access to the course. So with the product ready to go, all we need is a good marketing plan. So when it comes down to launching digital products, I like to do short two to five day launches with a narrowly bird pricing option, then increase the price and leave the product to continue selling long term. And for this one, I decided to go with a short two day launch. And here's how the launch plan looked like. So 
day one, which is today, right? We're going to send out two emails with a five hour gap. We're going to send out one email then five hours later, we're going to send out another email and we're going to post two Instagram stories with call to actions on both of my pages. Okay. On day two, we're going to do exact same thing. Two emails with a five hour gap two Instagram stories with call to actions on both of my pages. Day number three, I'm going to send out just one last email hour before this offer ends with extreme urgency. So I'm not going to go over and read all the emails I'm going to send throughout this promotion. But instead, I left two email templates I use when starting any promotion in that digital product checklist I left for you in this video description. So feel free to check it out once you finish watching this video, of course. So guys, even though I sold over half a million dollars worth of digital products over the years. Every time I launch a new product, run a new promotion or do something related to that, I still have this big self doubt that it's not going to work. I'm not going to make any sales. So just think about it, right? Even after seeing results, I still have this self doubt creeping in. So I just wanted to add this part to tell you that if you're going through something similar, realize that it's completely normal to have this self doubt. Just don't let it consume you, right? Launch that idea no matter what. It's very unlikely that your first product is going to be successful. Just like your first piece of content is not going to go viral, right? The point is not to have a successful product right away. The point is that you finally launch it and you improve it as you go. After connecting with countless of successful entrepreneurs, I've noticed one thing in common. They all had to do multiple pivots and iterations before they struck gold. My first digital product was a color grading lot and it made me a couple hundred dollars in the first month. And the next month I tried turning it into like a video course, into like mini video course. I think I called it creator accelerator back in the day and that made me less than $2,000 thousand dollars in the next two months. Then I completely changed the name and the angle and the branding of that program to Instagram creator course. And the first months with that program were slow. I was not getting much sales, but it all started catching momentum when I changed the marketing strategy. And after making this third iteration at around July 2023, by December 2023, this product was making $50,000 in sales per month, which just goes to show you that you have to be willing to launch fast, iterate and pivot as you go. Ignore the self doubt and don't let it stop you from taking action. So whenever you feel that, remind yourself that it's normal. It happens to everyone and even those who had already reached some level of success. To make your digital product more desirable, you have to learn how to create better offers. And the best way to improve your offer is to include something into your offer that reduces the work for your customer. So if you can give them something that they can get immediately after purchasing it, they be more likely to buy not just video lessons they get, but actual tangible thing they can get and see real results right away. When you think about it, that's the reason why softwares are so powerful, right? When you create a software that can add captions to your videos and the customer pays for it, and they immediately can add captions to their videos, they can see that transformation right away. So with this product I'm launching, I decided that I'm going to add 100 done for you content templates people can use when making their carousels. All of these images are going to be taken by me that I already have. They are completely copyright free for them to use in their carousels, right? So they can just download those images and use for their carousels right away. Back when I was selling Instagram creator course, I had this offer where people when they join the course, they immediately get 300 clips they can use for their content. And the second thing, they get unlimited page audits. So just think about it. Some people might buy this program, not only for the lessons and the guides they're going to learn inside, but maybe some company is going to purchase it because they need some like free copyright footage for their ads. You never know what your customer wants, actually, right? It could be just one feature that you provide that makes them buy. So whenever you're making a digital product, think about what you can add to make it an absolutely best deal in the market. So I just went through the entire checklist. It took me about one hour of brainstorming to come up with a product idea, about two hours to build the entire curriculum and product deliverables on WAP, another four hours to build the entire sales page, one hour to come up with a marketing strategy, 
And now two hours of writing and scheduling the first two emails and creating Instagram stories to promote the product. So the first email is going to go out in exactly one hour from now and I'll post Instagram stories at around the same time. And then I'm going to come back to you with the results as soon as the launch starts. Okay, so it's officially been one hour since the first email was sent and Instagram story posted. And at this point, we have four sales in total, which means I've made around $200. Okay, so we are one hour away before the second email is gonna go out, and I'm already at $300 in sales, as you can see right here. All right, the second launch email for the first day has been sent, and it's been two hours since it has been sent. And we got four more sales, which means in the last six hours since launching this program, I've made about $600. So with that said, I'll see you tomorrow when the final launch emails and stories goes out. Okay guys, the final launch emails and stories have been posted. So here are the sales results after 24 hours of launching this brand new digital product. So we have 1,100 $35. But there's always a delay effect, of course, and I'm going to be sending the last email tomorrow. So the sales number is probably going to be higher. But these are the realistic results I was able to achieve in the first 24 hours. And I wanted to paint a realistic picture of coming up with an idea from complete scratch and launching it. And if you want my help in launching your own digital product and building a powerful personal brand, consider joining Digital Product Academy. Inside, you're going to get access to our private community where you can get support from me and other members like Max, for example, who recently got his second $300 sale. There's going to be the first link in the description. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.